Henry wants me to start down here and film towards them. Dennis Kenton, Judith Highland, or it's the back of the cemetery. There's the boy cleaning one. Some old gravestones here. It's some you can't even read. There's Melissa Joe again. There's Hank and Evan cleaning up Howard, Howard Board. Dad. Look at this one's interesting. I think it's twins. Donald A. Almy and Donna A. Almy. And it's got one date on there, November 10th, 1956. So they, they were probably twins died at birth, yeah. This area here seems to be all infants. Yeah, infants. Stephen Douglas, no, I laid me down to sleep, just one day. Yeah, Donald Sawyer, 1946 to 1949, three years old. Janelle Hartwick, 1949, probably newborn baby. September 17th, Laura Lynn Swedgeman. She was only six days old. Judith Highland, just a date, a year. Same with Thelma Kenyon Hoover and Dennis Kenyon. Yeah, this might be like a newborn section. Yeah, Sylvia Jane, October 6th, 1934 to October 17, 1934. Seems to be newborn area. Some of these stones you cannot even read what it says on the graves. Like some are even broken. There's no markings on that whatsoever. They've all worn off. Like this one broke off. Hicks. There's a family of five. This one has cannot read it. There's nothing you can make out on it whatsoever. Oh, no. Yeah, you can't really read that either. It says Orvis, you can read that. Super old. Laura M., wife of Adam Decker, died September 30th, 1870. 34 years old, 11 days. So she was born in the 40s, 1840s. 1819 to 1901, Dinsmore. Must have been a big family back in the early 1900s. 1870s, Cooley, Caroline and Edwin Cooley. Can't read that. Not read that. What you doing, Hanky? He's born two days ago in light. Oh, yeah. it would have been her. Her birthday was two days ago. Yeah. All right. Say, see you later. See you later. later.